Hey guys, I'm going to go through how to do this system and system models graphic organizer. Um, this will be called photosynthesis and cell cellular respiration graphic organizer uh, in your unit 2 folder for this week. So um, like I said, when we've done this gra these graphic organizers before, you want to follow the numbers. Okay, so this one has six numbers. I'm going to kind of walk through how we're going to do this and fill it out for you. So this will help you when you are filling out your own. So we're going to describe the phenomenon. So what we're talking about this week is photosynthesis and cellular respiration and how they're kind of related to each other. So that's what I'm going to put in the box here. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Okay, we're specifically going to be talking about energy transfer. Okay, um, and then number two, we're going to define the boundary. So the boundary is like the limits. Um, so in this case, we're just going to say it's a normal ecosystem. Okay, so we're functioning in a normal ecosystem. We're not having um, too much sun or too much oxygen or anything like that. We have a normal ecosystem that we're going to be working with. And then we're going to move down to number three where we draw and label our components. Okay, I'm going to try my best on here. I am drawing with a mouse. I don't have a stylist, so I'm going to try my best, so bear with me. So the first thing we're going to draw for photosynthesis is obviously the sun. Okay, we know that photosynthesis starts with sunlight, and it's going to shine down on a plant. I'm just going to try and make a quick flower. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. Okay. And in these plants, we know what uh, we know that they have what are called chloroplasts. Sorry, that should be a lot more circular. Um, I am drawing with my mouse. So this is our chloroplast. And I'll go through and label this stuff in a second. I just kind of want to get it all drawn. Um, from our chloroplast, so from photosynthesis, we make glucose and oxygen. Okay, those are the two uh, products of photosynthesis, um, the two outputs. Uh, so basically what is made in photosynthesis is glucose and oxygen. Okay, then... We're going to start cell, cellular respiration. Okay, and this happens in what we call the mitochondria, which is like that bean-shaped picture that I showed you. It's got some little squigglies inside. Okay, uh, in pictures, these are usually orange. So I'm going to color it orange for you. Oh, not to this box. Sorry. I know this isn't the prettiest, but like I said, I'm doing it with my mouse, so it's kind of hard. Okay, so I don't want to do that. In photosynthesis, uh, the mitochondria take in glucose and oxygen, um, and they are able to carry out cellular respiration. And from, oh, I should have made that black, oh well. Uh, from cell cellular respiration, we make carbon dioxide, okay, or if you see it, CO2, that, um, that's its kind of molecular, molecular symbol, and then water, or H2O, um, and then we also make ATP, which is a form of energy, okay. We also, I know it doesn't say a lot in the pictures, but we did talk about this last week. NADPH is also a form of energy that our body makes. Right? And then this stuff, carbon dioxide, water, and energy, our body is used, our body uses ATP and NADPH. Um, so it stays in the, in the person to use that energy. Uh, we get rid of the carbon dioxide, which you breathe out, and we also get rid of water, which then goes into fueling 
photosynthesis um, because that's what it needs. So our inputs, we already put them over here, but um, I should have actually put them over here. So let's just do that. So my inputs for this part are going to be, if we're talking about cellular respiration, these would be the inputs. So let me do this. For cellular respiration, uh, actually this is for photosynthesis, sorry. For photosynthesis, these are the inputs. Okay, and then these are the inputs for cellular respiration. Okay, and if we would just copy and paste, oh, maybe not. Here, let's do this. The outputs over here. So for the outputs, we would just change this to cellular respiration. These are it up. It's outputs. And then if we copy this one, these are photosynthesis outputs. Okay. Um, so we kind of did five and six. Identifying the relationship between the components, basically one's in inputs is another one's outputs, okay? So I do want you to be thinking about that, especially because it's gonna help you be successful on our test next week. Um, really, you gotta really hit this home in your brain, okay? The inputs for photosynthesis are the outputs for cellular respiration, are the inputs for cellular respiration, so on and so forth. So it's kind of a giant, um, ongoing cycle.